Good day, everyone. I hope you are all doing great and have been staying safe. It is English language class, and I must say it feels so good coming your way again. I want to encourage you to keep sending in your questions on previous topics. We will attend to all of them. Our interaction today will focus on direct and indirect speech. First, what do we set out to achieve? What are our learning objectives? Please take your writing materials and write. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to A, identify the difference between direct and indirect speech. B, use the right verbs, the right tense, and all the components learned in making indirect speech. C, apply the knowledge acquired to develop techniques for using dialogues in storytelling and for using indirect speech effectively. In English language, there are two ways of passing across what someone has said to another person. When the original listener wants to convey what he has heard to another person, he can do so by using direct or indirect speech. Listen to two students, Shola and Kola, as they tell you what their teacher had told them. Teacher, to Shola and Kola, I want to rest for a while. The teacher said, I want to rest for a while. Direct speech. Kola. The teacher said that she wanted to rest for a while. Indirect speech. We will start with Shola's speech, which is an example of a direct speech. Have you observed certain features in a speech? Sure. They are features of a direct speech, which are informed by the rules guiding the use of direct speech. In essence, we are discussing the rules by illustrating with features observed in the speech. The features one after the other. One, Shola uses the exact words of the speaker. I want to rest for a while. We can then say that a direct speech is the exact or actual words of the speaker. The person conveying the words of the original speaker becomes the first person at the time. She marks off or separates the exact words of the speaker by quotation marks or inverted commas. Note, you are at liberty to use double or single quotation marks, but you must be consistent. The direct speech must be closed with the type with which one opens it. If you open with double quotation marks, you must close with double quotation marks. If you open with single quotation marks, you must also close with single quotation marks. The teacher said, I want to rest for a while. The same direct speech brought in single quotation marks. Practice again. I want to rest for a while. The same direct speech, but this time around, single quotation marks are used. We'll take it off from here after the break.